Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I'm going to show you some of the many ways that you can make rhythms in Bounce Metronome Pro. So you've probably already discovered the time signatures, so I've set it to 5-4 there, and to two subdivisions, and I've brought up the music notation window here. So you use it like that, it's in the Pro Metronome, and notice how it converts your time signatures into music notation. And the other thing to notice in this window, see how I've set it to swing, and the swing is not notated in any way in, in the music notation. And same also for the accents. So if you accent beats and you go to this window and you do that sort of thing, and even if you adjust the timing, that is n not notated. It's just, it's sort of like, think of it as like different ways of expressing the rhythm. So this is added on top of the music notation. So uh, that's, that's the basic music notation thing. Now, as you go down here, I, uh, you can also, and let's swing, let's flatten them all out by switching off, off the swing. Now, if we go down there and you skip beats, then, no, so if you click on a beat, you skip it. Notice how the music notation also changes, and you can see also on the notes, the notes that are actually on the blocks, and you've got a dotted quarter note, and you've got an eighth note, eighth note, quarter note, dotted quarter note, or whatever it is, like that, split that there and so on. So, and so you can make any rhythm you like, like there, just by skipping beats, or you can make them up here by using the music notation. And then if you want to do it with music notation, then you, there's also a whole selection of, 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 of what examples you can choose here. So you can just choose any of those examples. And so the, 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 this went Bounce Met Metronome Professional has them all. And then these Latin American examples and the Flamenco examples, you'll find in the separate pro presets for those in the Flamenco comp com Compass and the uh, Latin American rhythms. It, it's really just, it has this in the main window and then it has those preset rhythms. And you can also save your rhythms down here. So you can save a whole list of the rhythm. Oh, and this, this drop list here and the save as, it, saved just, it just saves the settings for this window. So you can use that to save your music notation rhythms for future reference. So those are two of the ways you work with it, but we're going to find quite a few more ways of creating rhythms. Now, another way you can create a rhythm is by adjusting the beats here. So you can add, add an extra part like that. Notice what happens there. You can change the number of notes in that part. And notice how it, it, it makes it into quintuplets and things there. Now, now actually, this bit a bit clear if I set this to 4-4 four, four, as, as I was starting with them. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more about, about all this later. But so you've got 4-4. Four, four. Now you add an extra part. And now if we start putting that in, and notice how, first of all, it's very straightforward. But now it's triplet uh, minims or, or half notes, quarter notes, and quintuplet quarter notes so on and now we've got nine tuples we've got quintuplet uh, quintuplet eighth notes and so on so as you the way this works the default is that in the tempo dial you've got it set to a fixed number of quarter notes per measure and when you make time signatures or you make music notation that number updates so as to show how many music, what how many notes are in the measure. And if you want to change that, you can go there and you set that to say sixteen notes or whatever, and then everything changes to fit that. And um, but if you make this four four, obviously it's going to reset that to 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 match that. So it's you and it'll give you a warning and notes how that's going to reset to quarter notes because it's four four. If we set to six eight, then it would set it to six eight notes and so on. And by the way, the ties there, you can set how many, if you've got beam every quarter notes, uh, it doesn't automatically update the ties there. So you could have, you can set that to beam every uh, eighth notes, every three eighths notes there. And that would be more like it's normally done in six eight. So that's how that's done. And you can actually, uh, well, I won't go into it in here, but you can look at the, the tip for that. You can actually have also set in Various, say three, two, three, alternating or whatever for the ties if you wanted, or anything like that. 
So, so uh, yes, so back to where were we now? So that's the music notation. And yes, and so making the rhythms yourself. So if we go back to 4-4, four, four, so you can make the music notations yourself, you can add rhythms, you can set however many bits you want there. Now there's another way you can do that, all that sort of thing. And you go to the parts window, and you go up there, and then you can actually enter the numbers for each beat, instead of just using that, that thing to click and, and keep adding them. So say you just say you want seven there, just do, instead of clicking lots of time, just type seven, and there you are, you've got seven, and it does everything like that. And then here maybe I want three, and then I can add an extra part, which I do down here, and then that's the measure beat. Measure beat. So that's a seven, three, a three, seven, four polyrhythm if we play it. So that's another way of doing it. That's quite a fast way of entering polyrhythms once you're used to it. And and if you're here, then you see you can. This is this is quite convenient because it's also the place where you can set the instruments. For every for every part as well, so that's another way of making these making these rhythms. Now there's uh, yet another way, and I, I'm going to show you a couple more. Now let's, uh, uh, yes, if you're in the beats window, just to say while we're there, that in this window you can also adjust the number of beats for each part there. That is just doing the same thing as as, as that number there. That that number is the same as that number, so you can also change it there as well. Now. There's there's another, another couple of completely different ways of entering the entering rhythms. So first of all, sometimes now to see this we have to go to make sure you are in advanced mode. So we are in advanced mode because it says switch to newbie mode. That's means you're in advanced mode. So now if we go to uh, with rhythms and more windows and options, then we get this this other way of entering rhythms, which you probably won't use very much, but it's and good to know that it's there. So rhythm cycles. Now, the uh, if you're into morphing polyrhythms and rhythm cycles, you may well use that for this. So this is a cycle of polyrhythms, for instance. And uh, if I say just, uh, but I'll talk about that in a, in a minute. So, but what I want to talk about just now is that here another way of making the polyrhythms. Then, if you just want to enter the numbers there, just very quickly, you just go three, five, six, two, one, and there you've made it. And that's, that's just somewhat quicker than doing it in the parts window. So, and then you can see the numbers down here as well. Uh, and then if you go to more, you get more options. And uh, oh, it doesn't seem to have shown the two there. I'm going to look into this. Just possibly might be a bug. I'm not very sure. Now, if you go to the advanced version of that, most of these settings, as it says, it's a techie session section most users never need to change these numbers so I, I recommend you don't change those numbers I might give a video about it sometime but really it's not worth knowing about that for most people so this is so this is so but this is worth knowing about sometimes now another way of making rhythms now this is very useful if you want to uh, so if you, you probably first encounter it in the tempo dial options window so if I close that one, then, and then it's you've you've got through this idea of going through a list of tempi. Yeah, I've just been debugging that, so that's why I've got some curious numbers there. So 120, base 60, base 33 or whatever. And then if you go and so this is something that that uh, that you that you might be doing anyway. So you you do that, then you can go through these lists of tempi like that using the up and down arrow keys. Now, so if you, you may have discovered that already, so you can also step through these rhythms with the up and down arrows, you can step through rhythms. Now this is a, that's a list of polyrhythms. I'm not quite sure it's showing that. So, yeah, set up example. Yes, so let's set, let's set, set up that example. So there we are, that's an existence. You see, it just looks like normal time signatures. So you can type in a sequence of rhythms like a 2 4, 4 4, 3 4, S2 means 3 or 4 with two subdivisions and so on. So if you want to, this is very useful, if you want to play a whole lot of rhythms one after another, then it's very quick to just type in a whole sequence of time signatures like that. And then you can use the arrow keys to go through them. So the, uh, 
let's go first go to the first part yeah well we are there position reached one so that's two four and then we've got four four and then we've got three or four with two subdivisions now the thing to do if you if you're typing in the rhythms in this way then the thing to bear in mind is that that they are space delimited so that means make sure there are no spaces in between if you had a space before that s then we treat it as a new rhythm so three over four s two all one word and so this is a very fast way of entering a, a whole list of rhythms and um, I suppose it looks a little bit cryptic maybe first time you look at it but it's you can get used to that very quickly now you can actually enter these rhythms much more quickly than that because you just do if you do something like two three four three four okay you don't need to put the over four bit if it because it just assumes that so now you can just go through that and that's so the first one right to the beginning two three four three and four You've gone through you, so that's gone through that sequence of rhythms so this is a very very fast way of making a sequence of time signatures that you can step through with the arrow keys and this same notation is used in other places in balanced metronome it's also used for the simple automatic tempo and rhythm changes so if i can bring that up it be taking a moment or two to come up right so now if i switch that on and then you can let's do a this example of tempo progression rhythm progression give a sequence of tempi a sequence of rhythms in that notation that i just explained you can also set the notation and the number of measures for each rhythm and it also shows it all in one line there as give you an overview of what's going on so the various examples there that's a the right of this a more complicated example from the right of spring with all sequence of rhythms and tempi for each one and then this is one where it's uh, just varying the tempo and not varying the rhythm at all. But I, I was mentioning that because it's using the same notation. Let's switch that off because we don't want to. to yeah, well, let's just play it so you can you can see actually what it does. So notice that you it'll just play those rhythms in sequence. And you hear it's highlighted as it goes along. So that's that's the uh, so that just shows that other notation. Now the the the, the still quite a few more ways of playing of making rhythms that I can show you in advanced metronome, and uh, I, I'm wondering. I think I'll I might take a break at this point uh, because uh, YouTube videos you don't want to get them too long. So I'll start talking about some of the other ways to do with combining poly combining rhythms together, polyrhythms, rhythm pacing, and stuff like that, and so. There's, uh, there's a whole lot of other stuff I can show you. Uh, so that'll be in the next video.